Good evening, everyone. It's Sparrow here, and tonight we are playing Return to Monkey Island. I think I'm pretty much... I'm, I'm in at least the last quarter of the game. I, I feel like it? I'm not 100% sure, because I haven't like looked at a walkthrough or anything, but it kind of feels like it's starting to wrap up. Like, we've gotten a bunch of uh, all of the secrets. I think, like, the last time we played, we were, like, trying to find out three things about LeChuck. We were trying to find out his catchphrase, which I've completely forgotten, by the way, so this is going to be fun. Um, his catchphrase, his theme song, and his favorite food. <laughs> and we were able to collect all of those, and I think now we're going to like set a trap for him or something using some dark magic perhaps i'm, I'm sure nothing nothing will go wrong um <laughs> but uh i'm excited to see if we can finish this up tonight if not um i think we'll get pretty close so let's go ahead and hop into the game all right here we are let's load our game up uh i think this is the one yeah here's our last one do you remember one. where we were Oh, let's uh, let's rem have a little reminder. These are pretty cute. Kind of, but remind me a little. Okay. I was on Monkey Island, and I had made a bargain with my enemies, Captain Madison and her two shifty friends. We had a map to the secret of Monkey Island, but it was hidden by a security spell, and we needed LeChuck's personal secrets to reveal it. Oh. I had found those secrets. Soon there was going to be a race to see who could betray the others the fastest. <laughs> Okay, so that's why we needed the secrets. We needed it to unlock the map. Um, oh, I don't need my controller for this. I forgot. <laughs> I picked up my controller. This is some, using mouse, a mouse. All right, so let's chat with our teammates. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? I have. Can I really trust you? Can I really trust you? Absolutely. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I know all of LeChuck's secrets. I know all of LeChuck's secrets. Let's do this thing. Okay. Let's get started. The first step is to play LeChuck's theme music. You're the one who knows how it goes, so you're in charge. Your instrument is over there. Watch who you're calling an instrument. Okay. Let's see. We need to... The theme music. Let's examine it. Do do mi sol fa fa re. Do do mi sol fa fa re. I, I don't know if I'm gonna. <laughs> do do mi sol fa fa re. <laughs> I'm gonna write it in the chat so I don't forget it. Do do mi sol fa fa. Ray. <laughs> okay. Do. 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 Me. Be. Soul. Ba. So Murray is fa. 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 Ray. Ray is the last one. Ray. Yo, ho, 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 ho. That's promising. <laughs> Next step. Madison, let's have the map. Quis nostra fugiat. Nulla tempor. Laboris nisi ex comedo consequat. Quick, say LeChuck's catchphrase. Oh gosh, what was it? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, Brandish? I think we're gonna have to. <laughs> okay. Brandish? Uh. The quivering. The quivering? <sighs> Cutlasses? Cutlasses. Quis atem bel veleptate velit. Now, Is that right? Eat LeChuck's favorite food. Do I have to? Do I have to? Yes. 
Can't someone Can't else someone do someone it? else do it? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. It was like tentacles or something. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so I, I must have gotten the, the catchphrase oh. right. Shocking. Wow. Look, there are lines on it. It's working. Ooh. Whoa. What's happening? <laughs> Wait, who's that? Who's that? Wow, this dark magic stuff gets kind of intense. Anybody see where the map got to? Not your concern. Thanks for your help. Time to go. Wait. Any last words before we drop you off the cliff and retrieve the secret for ourselves? <laughs> uh, let's take a vote on kicking me off let's the cliff. Let's take a vote on kicking me <laughs> off the cliff. I. 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 Nay. You've been voted off the island. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> and now, good riddance to Murray, the annoying demonic skull. Murray, I was tossing him Wait, too. I have a family. <laughs> Does he? Good. Trent, let's have a look at the map again. Huh? Huh? Where's the Odd. map? It was just in my pocket. Never mind. I remember what was on it. Let's go get the secret. Did I steal the map? Oh. Ow. It came from over here somewhere. What the? Threepwood? So, you survived walking the plank only to stumble <laughs> off a cliff. Oh, gosh. I, I thought always I was knew on something you were soft. a buffoon, but this <laughs> really takes the prize. How did I survive that? Speaking of taking the prize, as you lie here, slowly dying, feel free to torment yourself with the knowledge that I will shortly have the secret. And then, the fairy lane as well. <laughs> I'm gonna move, my, move this down so everyone can see the dialogue a little bit better. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't quite catch that, <laughs> but no matter. Your last words will be forgotten, along with you. Soon, not even the stench of your passing will remain, as the world moves impeccably onward. Captain LeChuck, it's Captain Madison, sir. She and the others have just set sail. They're leaving the island. Leaving? They must know where the secret is. If we Wait, hurry, so we the, can catch them at the sea of and Island persuade is it them on Monkey to share. Island. <laughs> <laughs> I think my pancreas is broken. I think my pancreas is broken. Possibly <laughs> also my spleen and my gallbladder. <laughs> Whatever that is. Hello, is someone here? Elaine. Guybrush. Oh no. Are you okay? Do I look okay? <laughs> Depends on your definition of okay. <laughs> Let's start with likely to survive the next two minutes. Uh, I suppose I can manage that if I have to. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid I insist. What are you doing here? Did you come to rescue me? How did you even get to Monkey Island? I guess you made the potion? You used a potion to get here. It's so cute. But let's not get sidetracked. <laughs> How did she get here? Fallen off a cliff. Hmm. This whole voyage has been a disaster. Uh, this whole voyage has been a disaster. Nothing but humiliation, physical danger, and humiliating oh, physical hey, thanks danger. thanks for the follow. I keep losing sword fights. I got thrown off a ship and thrown off a cliff on the same day. I got caught in a snare trap meant for LeChuck. My own fault. I had a map. There was an X and a shovel. You didn't find that suspicious? <laughs> Might as well just lie here and starve to death. I got a better idea. <laughs> Come back with me to Scurvy Island. Scurvy I'll take Island. a break from the Scurvy Project to nurse you back to health. Uh, why not? I'll never get to the secret now. Yeah, why not? I'll never get the secret now that the map is gone. 
Did somebody say map? Hello? Murray? Oh, Murray has the map. <laughs> Murray, <laughs> is that the map to the secret? That melon head put me in his pocket with it. I grabbed it for leverage. Holy cow! The secret is at the voodoo shop on Melee Island! The voodoo shop? Change of plan, Elaine. We're going back to Melee. We are? Well, what about all the things you just said? I must have hit my head. I must have hit my head. <laughs> Where's your ship? It's actually your ship. Your old ship, I mean. The sea monkey is wrecked on a beach just east of here. I know, I saw it. I got dropped off here so I could fix it up as a surprise for your birthday. What a great present. <laughs> you always amaze me. I had no idea you knew ship repair. I don't know any more than you do, but I brought a manual. Why don't we fix it oh, together? <laughs> uh, dibs on the good hammer. Dibs on the good hammer. <laughs> Race you to the ship. <laughs> Elaine is so thoughtful. Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me. <laughs> I feel like we're entering a new phase in our relationship. <laughs> I am trying to contain my joy. <laughs> Come on, Murray. You got our work cut out for us. I don't relish the idea of being with you, but I guess it beats spending the next hundred years on this stump. Maybe. <laughs> Wait, not the pocket. We're almost at, where else am I supposed to put you, Murray? This way? Race Elaine to the ship. Well, she's already there. <laughs> Meet Elaine at the ship. Okay, so now we Slow have to... Poke. You had a head start. <laughs> They're very cute. Alright, so let's see. Should we get started? Ready when you are. Alright. I guess I need to look at the manual. Skim the ship repair manual. Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me. Look at the decrypted map. It says the secret is at the voodoo shop on Melee Island. Hmm. I like how the secret is not actually a secret. What did I say? Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me. Uh, I can talk to Murray? Again? How's it going in there, Murray? I don't know what you're planning now, but I'm going to see you burn for it. <laughs> Contemplate the task. People repair ships all the time. How hard could it be? How hard could it be? Hmm. Uh, so how am I supposed to repair it? People repair ships all the time. How hard could it be? Uh, how do I actually repair it? Should we get started? Ready when you are. Uh, people repair ships all the time. What do how I hard do? could it be? Do I, I, do I put the, oh, we can't, here we go. Repair the ship. That's all it is. That's all it takes. <laughs> Insert guy brush for builds the ship montage. <laughs> well, we did what we could with the materials at wow. hand. Wow. Oh, I love it. It oozes nostalgia. <laughs> they did pretty well. Among other things, you steer, I'll bail. <laughs> <laughs> the backup beep. Things get complicated. Oh. They haven't already. <laughs> Part four. Sometimes <laughs> it's random stuff falling off <laughs> as as we sail. Huh. Who would expect Madison or LeChuck's ship to be here by now? Oh my goodness, look at the damage. Oh, I've got to go happened? and talk to Carla about organizing earthquake relief. You're not coming to the voodoo shop? Well, of course I want to, but this is a crisis. There'll be other damage. I have to help. Well, I'll want to hear all about it later. Hmm. Right. Yeah. See you soon. Interesting. I just got here. Chat with my invincible demonic figurehead. Watch the ship for me. Uh, bite anyone who tries to steal it. You're fine. There aren't any scrap lumber dealers on Melee. <laughs> yeah, so LeChuck... How did LeChuck not get here? Interesting. Wanted. Any information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons who destroyed the historic mop tree. I'll, uh, keep an eye out for them. That... that was me. 
<laughs> That's funny. Oh, what's, what's going on? Hey, my cookbook survived. You saved the cookbook? Yes, I saved the cookbook. The ceiling was collapsing, the building was on fire, people running everywhere, and I saved the cookbook. Cool. Cool. You're welcome. <laughs> How come you're still here? The bar is half collapsed and slightly on fire. Not done with my drink. <laughs> Alright, let's go to... Meanwhile, halfway to Melee Island. How on earth did we beat them? Oh, they're having a battle. <laughs> Ooh, that got loud. Give up now, old man. The secret will be ours. I've been searching for the secret since before you were born. That's exactly my point. Finding the secret is a young pirate's game. Years of experience here. Sorry about and the relentless drive will ensure the secret be mine. Only if you don't have a heart attack first. Ha! Last chance to give it up. Then we obliterate you. Get off my ocean! <laughs> Ooh. I don't know why some of the blasts are much larger than others. They just blasted each other. Oh, the, the I'm ghost chicken. I'm impressed by your crosswind ramming <laughs> technique. I'll have to add that to my book. My crew is quite skilled when given the right motivation. I am still worried about Threepwood. He shows up in the most unexpected ways. We don't have to worry about Threepwood anymore. I left him broken and near death at the bottom of a cliff. His eye was pussing up Ooh. and bone was protruding was, was from it? his leg. I recovered very Animals quickly. Animals have probably already <laughs> scattered his limbs from one end of the island to the other. So it's agreed. We stop fighting each other and we join forces to find the secret. Uh -oh. Agreed. No funny stuff. Mm. We split the secret. Teammates. Teammates. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go to the voodoo shop. Yeah. Everything free. Free is even better than half off. That's half way better. <laughs> Am I too late? Was LeChuck here? Did Madison oh. come? Did they get it? Where's the secret? Uh. What happened to your cauldron? I sold it to a soup shop on another island. They didn't mind the magic spell residue. Confront her? You've had it all this time! I possess little and much. To what are you referring? Don't play dumb with me, Karina. I have the map. The secret of Monkey Island is here! What is it you wish to know? Uh, where's the secret? Where's the secret? It is inside the large safe near the front door, of, of course. Um, have LeChuck or Captain have Madison? Have LeChuck or Captain Madison been here? No. That's weird. They were way ahead of me. Sometimes <laughs> it's better to have two enemies than one. But you should not waste time. But that's my favorite pastime. <laughs> so where are the keys? Where are the keys to the safe? I'd like to get it open as soon as possible. I am prevented from helping you with the keys. Ah. Uh, but there is one close by who knows much. How do I find him? Her. And she will find you. How do you know that? She is outside the shop. Oh. So why did you take the secret? Why did you take the secret? Doesn't it belong on Monkey Island? I have taken nothing. The safe came to me as you see it, and belongs to someone else. I accepted a fee and cast a spell upon it to prevent it being moved. That is all. Okay, so who owns the who safe? Who owns the safe? Alas, there are forces which prevent me from revealing the true owner. A Ooh. contract 
signed in blood Ooh, gruesome. with gruesome punishments for disclosure. Some kind of a voodoo thing? No. <laughs> no. How could you keep this a secret from me? I feel so betrayed. You knew I was looking for it. It is not a secret from you, Guybrush Threepwood. It is a secret. Full stop. I am bound by an agreement. Mm. I might I have, might have more questions for you later. I might have answers, <laughs> but I make no promises. No promises. All right. So the secret is in here. I hate to leave it here, but I can't take the safe with me, and I need to find keys to open it. Don't I have a couple keys? I have one key. That's for the museum display case, though. Hmm. What's outside? Is it a lane? Ah! Oh. You found the secret. You are a spark among oh, fallen old lady. leaves. Uh, does it count as finding it if it's sealed up? Does it count as finding it if it's sealed up in a safe? Finding and seeing are two separate things. It's a step on the road. I am widening bones. Whitey. Whitey? <laughs> like you? The hunt for the secret consumes me. Like you? I know where the secret lies, but lack the means to open the safe. You must have many questions. Well, yeah. How... <laughs> how do I open the safe? It's all just different variations on how do I open the safe. <laughs> Let's move this over here. How do I open the safe? Five locks, five keys. Golden, Golden keys. keys. Mm. Hidden long ago. So, where can I find the golden keys? Where can I find the golden keys? Most are found already. Got one myself. Ooh. Old Mrs. Smith had one before she died, and Bella Fisher, too. Also, I heard one was found on Bermuda. That's Bermuda. only four. One more was supposed to be hidden on Terror Island. Terror that Island? has never been found. Hang on, I'm writing all this down on my to-do list. Hmm. This doesn't sound so hard. A lot of people don't come back from Terror mm. Island. Also, yeah, Bella Fisher nice. sank out at sea and nobody knows where. Took her key with her. Oh. Hmm. Well, can I borrow the key you have? Can I borrow the key you have just to try it out? Not so fast, bright boy. <laughs> Whitey Bones is not such an easy mark. You prove yourself. Get some skin in the game. Find me when you've got more keys than I do, and maybe I talk partnership. Hmm. So what do the golden keys look like? Besides being golden, I assume. What do the golden keys look like? They're gold. <laughs> it's just paint. Helpful. But they look nice. Hmm. So why is the secret in the safe instead of on Monkey Island? Why is the secret in the safe instead of on Monkey Island? Do you know? Secret's always been in the safe. Uh-huh. Hmm, is it? How come I never heard about any of this before? How come I never heard about any of this before? I'm kind of a secret of Monkey Island buff. You'd think <laughs> I'd know about it. The clues were buried deep and clever. Only a few ever puzzled them out. And we keep ourselves to ourselves. Hmm. This all seems needlessly complicated. This all complicated. seems needlessly complicated. Life is like that sometimes. Best just enjoy the ride. Uh... You seem more lucid than when you were hanging out of the window on High Street. We all got our good days and our bad ones. If you don't know already, then you'll see. Okay, so what did she say? Who has Could you all the keys? What you said about who has all the keys? Old Mrs. Smith had one. She lived here on Melee before she died. And Bella Fisher had one before she went down with her ship on the high seas. Someone in Bermuda must have one. And I've got one. And the last one's probably still on Terror Island. Hmm. Thanks. Okay. See you See around. around, Whitey. I've got keys to track down. Okay, bright boy. But you watch your step. There is a curse. A curse. The keys are protected by a terrible curse. Beware. Whoa, a curse? <laughs> really? No, 
I mean, yes, she did say that, but she was just being dramatic. <laughs> Whitey likes to make a big exit. Hmm, you think? Well, one thing's for sure. I don't know how to get to either of those islands she mentioned. I'd better get a good sea map right away. Oh, well, I know where I can find a nap. Oh, what's this? Someone defaced Elaine's scurvy flyer. How terrible. Oh, no. Out of business. Looks like the lights are still on, though. Well, here's the map. You can get a map here at Wally's, right? Hey, Wally. Uh, have you got a sea map of the local area? Have you got a sea map of the local area? Can you jot down the locations of Terror Island and Bermuda? No problem. I'll also add a few extras. The ship tracking feature is going to blow your mind. Ooh. It's a little trick I know. You need to be able to go the extra mile if you want to make it in the big time, like me. Thanks, Wally. Be careful. Nice. The last pirates I made a map to Terror Island for were never seen again. And Bermuda can chill you to the bone. <laughs> oh, is it cold? Not many pirates <laughs> want to head up there. Oh, and when you get to Scurvy Island, say hi to Elaine for me. Thanks, Wally. And sorry about blowing you up that one time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So we know that we've got the maps now. Sleep. But I think, um, let's see. I think we need to talk to the key smith, the locksmith. So I think it was her Hi mom. Hi there. Hi. Uh, Hello again. Yeah. Let's see. Oh. Would your mother perhaps have been known as Old Mrs. Smith? Would your mother perhaps have been known as Old Mrs. Smith? Whitey Bones said something about an Old Mrs. Smith. Well, I didn't call her that. But I suppose some people did. Mainly when she was older. Hmm. Did your mother find any of those golden keys she was looking for? Did your mother find any of those golden keys she was looking for? One. She left it to me in her will. I will pay you any amount of money you like for your mother's key. That old thing? Really? Yeah, I'll, uh, hmm. <laughs> Would you consider my first, my first born child? Uh, I'll give you 100,000 pieces of eight. I'll trade you a ship. I'll cut you in for 20% share of the secret of Monkey Island. Hmm. What should I say? Uh, let's do the 20%. I'll cut you in for a 20% share of the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not even sure how that would work. Listen, if it means that much to you, just take oh, it. Oh, wow. Yes. That's nice. It was surprisingly easy and uncomplicated. Don't get used <laughs> to it. Life's not like that very often. Oh, well, that's nice. We've already got one of the keys. And, okay, what was the, um, the to-do list? Okay. Bella Fisher's golden key. Bella Fisher. So we have to go to Bermuda and Terror Island. But we need to find Bella Fisher's key. Uh, is she here on the island? Bella Fisher? I don't remember that person. Is hey, in guy jail? Rush. Wait, are you back in jail? I let you out. Otis. Otis, Otis, Otis. What are we going to do with you? I didn't do anything this time. I was framed. And what happened to Stan? Where's Stan? Where's Stan? Did they let him go? No. Stan got sentenced to hard time. Oh, Did no. you know he was representing himself? Oh. I've heard that's unwise. <laughs> they took him to the ice quarry on oh. Bermuda. Okay. We'll see him. Uh, so what did you do to get arrested this time? What did you do to get arrested this time? Nothing! I was just standing there minding my own business. Really? Applying for earthquake relief. Did you know you're only allowed to do that once? <laughs> there is no justice. <laughs> All right, important information. It says jail rules. One, no escaping. Two, no earthquakes. Hmm. The lamp broke. Possibly an improvement. Okay, destroyed cell. It's been reduced to rubble. Is there anything I can take here? Be able to... eh, at least you still got a lamp. Oh, yeah, great. I can see well enough to count the rat's teeth. Any writing that was once here has been rubbed away. Hmm, okay, so we can't, we can't 
get Otis out. Or can we? I'd like you to tell the museum curator about our jailbreak all those years ago. I'd like you to tell the museum curator about our jailbreak all those years ago. The one with the mugs of grog. He doesn't seem to have the story quite right. Of course, the truth is important. When I am free again, I will pay him a visit. Well, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Uh, all right, well, let's let's visit again soon. Have your people call my people. <laughs> Bye, Otis. Okay. Nothing interesting here. Okay. Mm. Oh, is there anything back here? We tried back here once before and there wasn't anything here. Let's open the door. It seems to be stuck closed. Hmm. Yeah, there's still nothing here. I wonder when we'll need to come back here. It's a- oh, a fish! Cod? Did I go here before? Maybe this is where Bella Fisher lives. I don't remember this place being open. Welcome to the Cod's Wallop. Thanks. We feature the freshest fish on the block. <laughs> freshest. And the freshest company as well. Whether you're here to buy or just pass the time, we don't mind. Though, of course, we do prefer it if you make a purchase. Didn't you guys used to be the pirate leaders? It's me, Gamer oh. Streetwood. Ah. I thought when we spotted him skulking around town that he looked passing familiar. Hmm. The shop seems nice. If by nice <laughs> you mean a glorious cathedral to the fine art of fishing, then I quite agree. Have a look around, why don't you? Hmm. Water damage book. It's a copy of At the End of the Plank. Oh, I a gift from a good friend. I haven't actually read it myself yet. Borrow it? Can I borrow this book? No, I haven't read it yet. Me either. Hmm, okay. How much for the goldfish? Sushi's a pet. Sushi. She's not for sale <laughs> at any price. She's property of the chums. Shh. With the who? No one. It's too mm -hmm. late. The bait's out of the bag. We might as well tell him. The Chums is by way of being a semi-secret society oh. of anglers. Mostly we tell stories. Aye, stories about fish. Do you know anyone named Bella Fisher? Mm. Yeah. Do you guys fish? Have you ever heard of someone called Bella Fisher? Bella Fisher. Aye, she could spin a yarn from Port Royal to Trinidad and back again. And a consummate angler she was. B what? Good at fishing. She had a secret fishing spot she did. More bounteous than the whole rest of the sea together. Mm -hmm. She probably rests there now, being as she did disappear on a fishing trip. No one knows the location. Though it is rumored that she left a clue as to its whereabouts. Mm. Uh, can I join the chums? Can I join the chums? I feel as though I should warn you that, this being the more casual mode of the game, participation <laughs> in the chums is strictly for fun. There'll be mm. no reward whatsoever for doing it successfully. Oh. Totally well? useless activity. Got it. Can I join anyway? <laughs> well, That's funny. Uh, Please. Please. Have you got any good fish stories? Yeah. One time, I was swallowed by a manatee. <laughs> no one knows what a manatee is. Trust me, make it a whale. Mm, It'll be better. No one knows what a okay. manatee is. Take this fishing lure. Oh, Other chums thanks. will have these too, on their clothes or displayed somewhere. Go out and find them. Show them your lure and tell them your story. They'll give you advice. Oh, okay. Learn all you can. Then come back here and tell us your story again. You could start with that young mm. pirate that hangs around at the scum bar. Don't tell him oh. where to start. He's supposed mm. to look for the lures. I see. Well, he's got a lure. Uh, did Bella Fisher ever show you a big fancy key? Did Bella Fisher ever show you a big fancy key? No, I don't think so. Not to my memory. Just thought I'd check. Hmm. Uh. I'd like to buy some fish. I'd like to buy some fish. 
Talk to the grizzly gentleman at the counter about that, please. Yeah, it's my shift. Okay. I'd like to buy some fish. That's an excellent <laughs> life decision, me lad. Today we've got hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater, and lump sucker. Ooh. What'll it be? Hmm. How about some hmm. lump sucker? Lump sucker. Here's a box full. Should be plenty. You want me to run a tab for you? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Uh, those are hagfish. Can I get? Let's see. Uh, can I trade in my fish for surrender? Okay. So there's gonna be a puzzle why I need a certain type of fish. Um. I'll have to figure that out later. I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find none better. I got lump suckers. Are these blowfish for sale? Are the blowfish for sale? No, indeed. These are for personal <laughs> use. They're excellent hmm. for burpin contests. Care to join us? Uh, Don't mind if I do. What? <laughs> oh, poor fish. <laughs> Wait, he's blowing it up from the wrong end. <laughs> Blarp. Aye, <laughs> well done. I hereby declare us all the winner. That was pointless. Okay, is there anything in here else here I can get? Let's see, I can make lots of comments, but... Uh, order some fish? Can I trade in my fish for some other ones? Always happy to take a trade in. Today we've got hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater, and lump sucker. What'll it be? Never mind. I don't Come know. On. I don't know what I'm going to use these for, but... We'll figure it out. We have to go talk to other fisher people. Um, hmm. Uh, back to the docks. Yeah, she has a. I'm closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. Oh, I have to show her my, my lore. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to this share? This guy crying in the One background. Time. Uh, my ship was swallowed by a whale. My ship was swallowed by a whale. You know, what your story needs, it's a part to set the stage, to let us know what's going on and who the people are. It should come at the beginning, like a, um... A beginning? Like a beginning, mm, exactly. exactly. Like, I was on the deck of a burning Spanish galleon with horse face and itchy jaw. And then all of a sudden, and then you take it from there. Want to give it a try? Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see. I was up in the crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden... My ship was swallowed by a whale. My ship was swallowed by a whale. Yeah, that's the way. Obviously, you're new at this, but don't worry. Other chums can show you more of the ropes. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. I, I feel like... Is there anything else, anyone else I can talk to before I leave the island? Oh, the lookout's gone. Hmm. Cute little guy. Hi there, little guy. Okay. Hmm, there's my ship. Low Street, High Street. Let's go to the governor's mansion. Oh. Check out the line of people. I wonder what they're waiting for. Oh, here's the lookout. They're waiting for earthquake relief. What are y'all waiting for? Earthquake relief! And you'd better not be looking to jump the line. 
I wouldn't dream of it. Those who cut, get cut. <laughs> hey! Thanks, Carla. <laughs> he just Good got it. <laughs> Guybrush. Hi. I want to hear all about the secret, but I've got to go back to Scurvy Island right now. Oh, wait, Let's talk Elaine's later. got a... a she okay. had a... She had a lure. Carla does not have a lure. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, every time we talk, we have to sword fight. Uh, have you seen the people outside? Have you seen the line of people outside? Those are citizens who were affected by the quake. But there isn't any money in the coffers to support the relief effort. I'm basically <gasps> handing out IOUs. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. <laughs> Alright, I don't think there's anything useful here. But we saw Elaine, and we saw that she has a lure. So she's she's on probably going to Scurvy Island. Uh, the museum. Let's see if the museum guy has a lure. Oh no! What happened My here? My brilliant deduction is that the museum is closed. Hmm. It's the museum of pirate lore, but it says it's closed. Well, never mind. I guess we're going. I guess we're going to uh, to the other islands now. Yeah, there's nowhere else really does it go to. Yeah, let's go to Mike's ship. Oh wait, the shipyard. Is there anyone out in the shipyard? Stan's oh. building collapsed. This place looks like an earthquake hit it. Well, <laughs> a picture. There's a torn picture in here. This half shows Stan himself. Hmm. Oh yeah, Stan wanted to steal his toothbrush. This toothbrush Stan wanted. Take it and take the picture. Okay. So we did need to get some of things because we're going to we're going to go see Stan, right? All right. He was on Bermuda. Sail to an adrift ship. Is it Scurvy Island or Terra Island? Where's Bermuda? Let's see what this adrift ship is. Ahoy! 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 <laughs> Permission to come aboard. Afraid we can't let you do that. Permission to come aboard, sir. This isn't a protocol issue. Although we do enjoy a good protocol. Are you going to let me talk? Apparently, that's what you enjoy <laughs> doing. <laughs> There's guys? been a deadly scurvy outbreak on oh. the ship. We're under strict quarantine, so we don't well, infect others with can't... this deadly pathogen. We can't infect. Yeah, scurvy is not I don't contagious. Think scurvy is contagious. You it's don't a deficiency. Know that. <laughs> My best friend's uncle's gardener's dog says it is. It's a scientific fact. No, oh, don't try to <laughs> snow us with your science quackery. If scurvy wasn't contagious, then only one person uh, would uh, have it. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> um, where'd you guys get that cool flag with the hole? Where'd you get that cool flag with the hole? We found it floating in the ocean. It's Bella Fisher's flag. She probably Ooh. lost it when her ship went down. We're afraid to take Ooh. it down and offend the scurvy gods. Bella Fisher. <sighs> there is no such thing as the scurvy gods. Well, then why is there scurvy? Answer me that. Hmm. Can I have your flag? Can I have your flag? Did you not hear me? <laughs> scurvy on okay. board. Well, we gotta bring some oranges or something, right? Well, you could just toss it down to me. Best not to risk it. It's probably crawling with scurvy, trust me. I really don't think it's contagious. I really don't contagious. think scurvy is contagious. You don't know that. My uncle's best friend's <laughs> wife's dog walker says it is. <laughs> Handle your science to someone more gullible. All right, all right. Hi. Don't let the scurvy bite you. Scurvy bites? Oh, I knew this was bad. 
Sail away. <laughs> thorough, thorough signage. The messages are a little mixed, but clearly enthusiastic. You're welcome, and thank you. That's Bella Fisher's flag. It's seen better days. It's got a hole in it. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's let's go to Scrubby Island first, then. Bare bones. Oh, meanwhile. <laughs> You're right. It won't budge. It's strong magic. I can still get it open with a spell, but I need a good power spot. It beats trying to find the keys. We don't even know where to start. It could take forever. Only a fool would do that. <laughs> I know an excellent place for power spells, but it's not on this island. No problem. We can craft it there and then come back here. We'll take my ship. I'll stay here to keep an eye on the safe. And steal the secret yourself? I don't think so. Stop it. <laughs> Clearly, no one trusts anyone to stay behind. We'll all go together. What if someone else finds out the thing is here? The only map is lost somewhere on Monkey Island. Probably eaten by a wild <laughs> boar by now. The map maker knows it's here. I've got a bone to pick with him. Oh, anyway, Wally. I'm thinking maybe one of the large ones in the leg. Ooh. Ah, Scurvy Island. This is where Elaine's been growing all the limes for the Marley oh, Foundation's limes. scurvy project. She's probably back here by now. I can't wait to see her. Let's get some limes from Elaine and talk to her about fishing. What's that? Oh, I see. It's like a little snail. Marley Foundation. It says the Marley Foundation Scurvy Treatment and Prevention League, or STAPL, welcomes you to Scurvy <laughs> Island. Staple? 1.5 miles to STAPL headquarters. Is this real? It's a very realistic likeness of the scarlet plumed point and snip bird. I didn't know Elaine was into woodworking. Whoa, hey. had me fooled. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at all the lime trees. Is that what lime trees look like? Oh, wow. A lighthouse, a beach, the grove, the camp, a big rock. First, let's go to the. Let's see. No, let's oh, I love that place. It's like a hundred foot candy cane. Oh, I love that place. Oh, you can't it's like a hundred. That's where all the driftwood goes during driftwood mating season. <laughs> so can I actually go to the grove? Okay. Wow. Elaine sure has been busy. Pick some limes. I better talk to Elaine before I steal any limes from the foundation she's worked so hard to set up. Oh, okay. Elaine and I debate about whether it looks like a parrot or a cockatoo. Let's just go to the camp then. Elaine? Are you decent? Hello? Hey, this used to be a picture of both of us. What happened to the me part? Maybe she takes it with her? Or here's a note. Hi, I'm working due east of the waterfall and due south of camp today. Okay. Staple remover. I pinched a yak with it once. <laughs> and then I sort of accidentally pinched the staple remover. I had it for years before I remembered to give it back to Elaine. She was happy and mad at the same time. Mappy. <laughs> it obviously means something to Elaine, too. Hey, that's the idol of many hands. Pirates used to have to steal this from Elaine to prove themselves. Now, at least that's what they told me when they made me do it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I can take the painting. Check out the prior wood. It's nicely dried, pre-cut, and ready to go. Hmm. Okay, back to the path. She said she was by the waterfall? I got swept over the edge one time. Good thing Elaine knows CPR. Groves go on forever. Okay. 
Maybe she's on this, this part? We have to go to the very specific part of the grove. Where do I find the mint groves? Okay. What the heck is she supposed to be? Near the camp? Oh, what? Hey, what the heck? It's a torn painting of me. This is torn from a portrait of Elaine and me. Why does she have that? <laughs> I can either put Stan there or I can put me there. That's funny. Why would I want to put Stan there? Interesting. <laughs> What's the smooshy face? <laughs> that must be a part of a puzzle. Okay. I thought she was... I said she was by the waterfall. Okay. Right here? No? Okay. What the heck? Where is she supposed to be? Say. Where is Elaine? Uh, how do I find Elaine? Oh, her note. That's right, she gave me a note. Read it. Hi, I'm working due east of the waterfall and due south of camp today. Due south of camp and due east of the waterfall. I thought I already checked there. Due south of the waterfall, or due east of the waterfall? Man, my, blood, my memory is terrible. What did it say? Hi, I'm working due east of the waterfall and due south of camp today. Okay, due east of the waterfall. So east is right here. I thought I looked right there. She's not here. Okay, or due south of the camp. Uh, this is due south of the camp. WTF. Oh wait, maybe it's due south of the camp and east, so maybe I have to like, so like right here? Aha! Hi. Hi. I was hoping I'd run into you again. <laughs> I was hoping that too. What happened at the voodoo shop? Did you get the secret? Not yet, but I'm closer than ever. I just have to gather a few golden keys together and I'm good to go. That sounds promising. What about the Chuck and Captain Madison? They weren't there, oddly enough. Well, be careful. <laughs> How's your project going? The project has hit a snag. We have plenty of limes, as you can see, but people are refusing uh, to why? take them. <laughs> they say they don't like the taste and they don't believe they'll help with scurvy. Hmm. As an elected official, I could have issued an edict, but as a private citizen, I have to convince people. I tried this flyer. Yeah, I've read part of this. I know. <laughs> I, I know it's terribly dry, but the facts are there. Hmm. Have you tried using a different font? Have you tried font? using a different font? <laughs> Comic Sans, for example. Oh, God. Yes, but I need a small one to fit all the information on. Hmm. What about adding bullet points? What about adding bullet points? They could be little limes. Oh. People not liking limes is part of the problem, hmm. though. Good point. Make some limeade. What if the text was centered instead of left justified? <laughs> Somehow I don't think that's going to make a lot of difference. <laughs> I'm not sure what to tell you. It's basically a sales and marketing problem, and neither of us is an expert in either of those things. Oh. Yeah, I see what you but mean. But Stan is... I'll hang on to the flyer. Maybe I can find a sales and marketing expert mm. to look at it. Okay. Okay. Can we take some limes? Can you spare any limes? You can take a few. 
Well, like I said, I'm having trouble giving them away. Oh, wait. Now we need to show her our lure. Greetings, fellow chum. Guybrush! You've joined the chums! <laughs> I'm glad. Maybe a new hobby will help you get your mind <laughs> off the secret. Um, sure. Ooh. Well, let's hear what you sure. got. Let's see. I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, Swallow my ship was swallowed by a whale. That's nice, Guybrush, but I think you've left out the most interesting part. What was it like inside the whale? What happened in there? People want to hear about the experience. That makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay. okay. So... I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden... I was swallowed by a whale. My ship was swallowed by a whale! It was gross inside, soft floors, and yellow stuff all over the place. It was gross inside. <laughs> soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. <laughs> hmm. uh, I made a fishing line with my own hair. Oh, wait. I lit the hull on fire with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater. I lit the hull on fire with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater. I think you've got it! I think this is really good for you. You should find some other chums to share your gift with. I'll do that. Hmm. Okay, is there anything else we need to talk to her about? Uh, yeah, how come the picture on our desk was, uh, your desk was torn in how half? How come the picture of us on your desk was torn in half? Ah, uh, yes. Sorry you saw that. There was an incident with a seagull. It flew away with you into the lime groves. I looked, but I couldn't find you. I see. Hmm. All right, love, love you. Love you. You too. Can I show her the picture? How sweet! You put the painting of us back together again. I think you should keep it. Okay. Uh, all right, well, I, now we... First, I think we need to go talk to Stan. He's the marketing expert, right? He's on Bermuda. Uh. Uh oh. The chug ship. Oh. Oops. Oh, hey. Appreciate this is that. certainly exciting. I wanted to look at. Um. This flyer. Oh, yeah, it is long. Okay. Are we lying in wait or just waiting? We're waiting, we're waiting. All right, let's go. Barebones Island? Where's... Where's Bermuda? Oh, there it is up there. Stay back! I can see you! How did you find me? I just sailed up and here you were. Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Are you alone? Uh, at the moment. At the moment? Thank goodness! I'm Ned Filigree, Accountant. I don't mean to be rude, it's just that I'm in hiding. Oh, what are you afraid of? Who is it you're afraid of? Well, have you heard of Stan S. Stanman? He sounds yes. familiar. Thank goodness they locked him away on Bermuda. He'll be chipping ice in the quarry for a long, Why is he afraid long of Stan? time. <laughs> I can't help but be nervous, but actually, I guess I've got decades before I really have to worry about it. Uh, how come you're afraid how of Stan? How come you're afraid of Stan? He's always struck me as pretty harmless, except economically. <laughs> sure, economically. but you never can tell what someone like Stan will do. He's got no moral center. There's that term again. Like I said, <laughs> I'm glad he's safely stuck in the Bermuda quarry for a good long time. Hmm. Uh, you must be good at math. I'm a creative accountant. Math doesn't really enter into it. You any good? <laughs> Don't judge me by where I live. I've just had a few setbacks. It's all I can afford right now, but it's temporary. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to explore the island a little bit. 
Holler if you find anything interesting. Nice likeness of you. Where's the other half? No comment. Oh, is that a picture of him? Can I have the picture? No, that would be weird. That's a mighty fine looking chest you have there. What's in it? Everything I own. The fruits of a man's life. The yardstick by which <laughs> shall be measured when I'm gone. It's mainly paperwork. Hmm. Okay. Easy, Ned. Can I show He's him? He's not coming. Oh, I can't show him a picture of Stan. It's like you can switch it in and out. It's interesting. Oh, you can switch Stan out too. Huh. Interesting. All right, well. He's in jail for years Bye. and years. Bermuda. Halt, ship. Oh. If, if that's what you can call that. I made it myself. <laughs> it's a source of pride. This is a scurvy inspection point. The law requires that you're carrying limes before I allow you to proceed north. Oh, Here, oh. look, I have limes. I've See? got some limes. To proceed north, <laughs> you'll have to fill out a customs declaration form. Name? Mr. Elaine Marley. Mr. Elaine Marley. Fill this out and be <laughs> completely honest. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wait, okay, I don't want to check any of these. <laughs> what is all this? Uh, are you carrying large livestock? You're carrying more than 10 or less than three bananas? Did you not check number seven? Did you, argh. If you checked, <laughs> if you checked nine, did you not check two? Have you not been to Beer Murder during the winter? Can a wood check check wood? <laughs> uh... <laughs> the North Stars in the South. I can verify I've answered question 11 correctly. I am not carrying any trivia cards. Uh, questions two, three, four, are prime? I don't know. <laughs> check this. If you didn't check, check question 25. Don't check this if you didn't check question 29. Arg. Right. Let's see how you've done. Uh, hmm. Good answer. Interesting you would check that one. Good penmanship. Not checking that was smart. Okay. This looks in order. Okay. <laughs> you may proceed with full approval of the Bermuda Port Authority. Thank you. Oh. A royal looking sculpture. It's a very regal looking ice sculpture. Pointy. I'm staying far away from this. It smells awful. A bucket filled to the brim with rotten fish bones. It's locked. Right. Maybe I'll come back later. Hmm. Okay. This place is quite cold. It says Courthouse of Bermuda. Mr. Judge, plead before Judge Plank. That looks promising. Now there's someone I've got to meet. Ah, they have a golden key. Order! Order in the court! I am going to cite you for contempt of court for not asking permission to approach the bench. Oh, sorry. I humbly apologize. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach the bench. Court is now in session. Judge Plank presiding. How do you plead? 
innocent. innocent. Uh, I never blew up that fort. No gunpowder rescue. I was framed. I was framed. Order! Order in the court! Quiet on the gallery, or there will be arrests. Is, is there anyone else here? Uh, did I mention I'm searching for did the secret? Did I mention I am searching <laughs> for the secret of Monkey Island? Until it becomes a legal matter before the court, it is of no interest to me. Although, I do remember a case several years back where the secret was claimed to be a fraud <laughs> and a scam to sell computer a games. A scam? I believe that was settled out of court for a substantial sum. Mm. Uh, that's all. That is all, Your Honor. Court is adjourned. Okay. Toasty. All right. Well, there's nothing else here. I'm guessing we're going to come back here later. Let's go to the island center. We need to go find Stan. Uh, the ice case castle? The quarry. So he's probably here in the quarry, right? Oh, look, he has a lure. Hi. Any chance I could get inside the quarry? Not many try to get in here. Just out. What's the purpose of your visit? Uh, it's a social call. It's a social call. We do have a visitation policy, but it's quite strict. Who are you here to see? Uh, Stan. Stan. We do have a Stan. I'm a little surprised he'd have a visitor. Can you prove you know him? I can describe him. Loud jacket. Never stops moving his arms. Or his lips. That does sound like him. But I'm supposed to see some actual physical evidence. Just bring me something that shows you two have ever been in oh, a room together. Oh, this is why we can... That way, <laughs> I can tell my fa... Uh, my boss that I did my job. Oh, okay. Well, let's show him the photo. Oops. And switch out the photo of Elaine with Stan. Um. <laughs> what do you think of this picture of me and my extremely dear friend Stan together? We had it painted at our local muskrat club meeting. You look real close. All right, <laughs> you can go in and see him, but no escapes. I wouldn't dream of it. You don't want to be right there when I open the gate. Go stand next to his stump. Whoa. All clear. All right, but I do want to talk to him about being in the uh, chums. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? Mm -hmm. I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe, and then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. It was gross inside. Soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. I lit the hull on fire with Flambe's head, so it would burn underwater. Listen, let me tell you something about anglers. Uh, by which you mean people who fish. Right, but if you are one, you'd say angler. I would? Every subculture has its own special language. Words with significance specific to that subculture. When you use them, hmm. you convey both meaning and membership. That sounds good. Okay. That's why authentic sounding fish stories always have plenty of angler lingo. For example, I wouldn't tell people a big fish broke my string. I'd say, I was jigging with a hard bait when a strike from a lunker snapped my leader. That's both highly specific <laughs> and difficult to understand. Exactly the point. Want to give it a try? Uh, okay. Okay. So... I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen named Flambe. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, it's all a of a sudden, <laughs> my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. It was gross inside. Soft floors and yellow okay. stuff all over the place. 
I lit the hull on fire with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater. Yeah, that's the way. Okay. You almost sound like a real angler. I have given you my best tip. See if you can get some other chums to do the same. I'll do that. All right, thanks, guy. Let's go find Stan. Mm. Loud guy, big hat. Way in the back. Loud guy, big hat. Oh, he's in the back corner. Looking to see if any of these people have lures, but I don't see them yet. See so them in the back corner. There he is, Stan. Hey, Stan. Hi there, son. Nice to see you. What are you in for? Uh, well, uh, some sort of sales pitch, I expect. Some sort of a sales pitch, I expect. Pitches are for baseball, son. <laughs> I <arms>. make introductions. <laughs> I'm like a matchmaker between you and your future. I want you to consider these two words. Ice. Sculpture. Separately, they're exciting. Strength. Elegance. Uh, transparency. Uh, Together, they could be life-changing. No thanks. And no thanks. Don't wait too long. They're selling like hotcakes. Um... How about I bust you out of here? How about I bust you out of here? Yeah, this place seems a little harsher than the jail on Melee. I might or might not know hmm. a competent locksmith who could take care of those shackles. Oh no, son, I can't escape. Wouldn't be wise. I'm only in for a month, after all. Got a copy a of the judge's order right here. Hereby order the defendant Smilin' Stan S. Stanman is ordered to be remanded for hard labor at Bermuda Ice Quarry for the unfortunately trivial term of one month. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Yeah, I sure did get off light. Lucky for me, they never caught on to my pyramid scheme, or I'd probably be doing 10 years. Tell me more about that pyramid scheme. Tell me more about that pyramid scheme you mentioned. Honestly, I don't know why the law makes such a big deal about it. It's just creative money management. Easy if you know what to do with the figures. Mm -hmm. I've got this accountant, Ned Filigree. Mm -hmm. He's a genius with that stuff. If they ever saw his records, uh -oh. well, let's just say the first thing I'm doing when I get out is go burn all that paperwork. Oh, and he's got all that paperwork in that uh, chest we saw. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. Okay, so we need to give Stan the um, the scurvy letter. Elaine and I could use some marketing advice. The Marley Foundation is trying to combat scurvy by distributing limes, but no one's willing to take them. I feel your pain, son. I had a similar problem selling life preservers in the farming community. <laughs> Sometimes farming. people don't know what they want even when they want it. You got any promotional materials? Elaine made this pamphlet. Okay, yes. I have done it already. Hmm. Mm hmm. I see the problem. It's wrong from top to bottom. You couldn't sell water to fish with this blather. It's a little dry. Well, it's got facts in it. <laughs> Worse than that, scientific facts. Nobody likes those. I'll need to meet with her to iron this out. Can't you just tell me what to do and I'll tell her? No, no, that won't oh, do. Oh, come on. Things get lost in translation. A whinny isn't a whinny if it doesn't come out of a horse's mouth. What? No shade on you, son, but you're not a pro. You wouldn't be able to convey the nuance that's needed here. She and I have got to have a meeting of the minds, and minds have got to meet face to face. I'll let her know. Well... Remind me what you said about Elaine's lime marketing problem. She and I have got okay, to have okay. a meeting okay, of okay. the minds, and minds right, have right. got to meet face to face. I can't wait a whole month. Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? Like I said, I'll be out in a month anyway. I can oh. handle the shackles until then. Do we maybe need to get him a harsher sentence? And then he'll want me to break him out? What was the name of your accountant again? Ned Filigree. He's good, and he works cheap. Be careful, though. He's got a hang-up about meticulous record-keeping that can be <laughs> problematic if anyone looks too close. Hmm. Okay. 
I think I'll poke around a little. So... You enjoy yourself, son. Hmm. So somehow we have to get Stan out. Let me show him the photo. <laughs> Handsome devil, if I don't say so myself. Huh. Okay. Oh, we brought his toothbrush. That's right. Here, Stan. I think this is your toothbrush. Sweet gingerbread cake. That's old Bessie, all right. <laughs> I'm much obliged. Oh, I got an achievement for giving Stan his toothbrush. Uh, uh, smell the limes. Ah, limey. You can smell the ascorbic acid. Well, hmm. I guess I can't do anything else here. Is there anyone else I can talk to? See anyone with the. Hey, what's this? It looks like a secret escape tunnel. Escape? Oh. Oh, that's nice. Hmm, where do I find this king or queen person? This it's a very person. regal looking ice sculpture. Can I go into the town hall? It's locked. Maybe I'll come back later. Hmm, okay. Well, hmm. Let's try going to Terror Island. We haven't been there yet. Ooh, quite terrifying. I might catch something. Or something might catch me. Oh my. Death waits for all who enter. I'd turn back if I were ye. That's encouraging. Yeah, I'd better not get any closer. Hmm, okay. Is there anything else? No? Brave the forest? To an unlucky place. Rocky Beach. Bizarre Grove. Twisting Path. Uh, let's look for an unlucky place. Oh, look a key. It's not one of the golden keys, but any key is a good key in my book. Yeah, let's take it. Okay. I'm sure I'm a more skilled survivalist and have nothing to worry <laughs> about. I'll just keep telling myself that. Uh, this place gives me that lonely feeling. I'd rather keep moving along. Okay, well, I've got a key. Uh, the slimy grotto. A moist patch of mushrooms. In all the worst places, there are mushrooms. <laughs> I like mushrooms, though. It's like a slow, crashing wave of spores. Okay. There's nothing nearly here. It's like a slow, crashing wave of spores. Okay. Twisting path. Ooh, spiders. Whatever it is, I don't think it wants me around. Ugh. Uh, there's no such thing as a man-eating mushroom, right? <laughs> right? Oh, this path is long. Okay. It says X, Y, Z, Z, Y. It's so old, it's about ready to fall off. Hmm. Okay, I'll take it. Why not? Ooh, a lock. I've had it with locks. Okay, well, we've got a key, right? Uh-huh. Brave the pitch blackness and possibly bottomless pit. Do we have anything that's glowing? I mean, there's a ghostly chicken feed. Ooh, the sign is glowing. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Oh. What? Huh? Wow, neat. It's magic. Huh? 
I'm not walking any farther. It's way too dark. I'm not walking any farther. It's way too dark. That's why I said we should use the... Hmm... X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Okay, so it just like takes us back here to the cave. Okay, well we need something that we can use as to light up, I guess. Uh, there's no such thing as a man-eating mushroom, right? I guess not. Ooh, all the spiders and bugs, it's gross. Ooh. All right, well, we haven't gone yet to the Bizarre Grove. A leaning tree. For a dead tree, it's a little too lively. Just a dead end. Sounds a little creepy if you think about it too much. Okay. Slimy Grotto. Oh, Mysterious Clearing. We haven't been there yet. Oh. <laughs> this cooking pot seems like an ill omen. I'm not sure I want to know what happened here. I'll be fine as long as I don't lose my wits and keep my head. Mm -hmm. Ugh, looks like he had the wrong person watching his back. What really bothers me is, why do these pirates look familiar? Hmm. It looks really old and dry. Oh, a lantern. It's an old oil lamp with a little lamp fuel inside. Kimmy. Looks like another greedy pirate who met a sordid fate. Yeah, this place gives me the creeps. Okay, so now can we go back? X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Huh, I guess it doesn't work everywhere. Oh, okay. Hmm. We have to go back to the twisting path. So can I use it here? No. Okay. What's the point of that then? Okay, well now we have a lamp. It's not lit, but it does have some lamp oil in it. Okay. Use it. Uh, okay, so I have to find a way to light it. <laughs> hmm. How do I find the light? Well, duh. Mm -hmm. There might be a more convenient way to light it. Any fire you encounter. Okay. Uh, there's no such thing as a man-eating mushroom, uh, right? I have to go all the way through this annoying pathway. A more convenient way to light it. Oh, I've got the monocle. Can I, like, use something? Something with the monocle to light it on fire? No? The chicken feet in there? No? Hmm. I don't want to go all the way back to Melee Island. There wasn't anything in the in the clearing. Yeah, there wasn't any fire. Oh, I can take the firewood though. I think I'll fill up my coat pockets with this bulky firewood. It seems <laughs> like it might come in handy somewhere. And I'm sure no one will miss it. Okay. It's nicely dried, pre-cut, and ready to go. Hmm. Help? I'm not sure I want to know what happened here. I'll be fine as long as I don't lose my wits. Is there an easy keep way my to get the fire? First ice castle. Oh yeah, we didn't go to the ice castle. I forgot. 
Aha. Okay, it's lit. All right, well, let's... While well, we're in here, let's go check this ice castle. I totally forgot about this place. Oh, wow. You can see him through it. <laughs> nice view. Fire, melting ice, very hoogly. Welcome, loyal subject. Oh, the queen. Identify the small box. These matches are specially formulated for freezing temperatures. Disclaimer will not light underwater. Okay. Got some matches. It's slowly filling up with castle. It's slowly filling up with castle. Ah. At the end of the plank. My only copy. Please don't touch it. Lots of people have that book. Dr. Bermudian. <laughs> hey. Hi. Grunt. <laughs> nice weather we're having. Grunt. I see. Okay. Talk to the ice cream. Most regal, high, authoritative, benevolent ruler person. Oh, most regal, high, authoritative, benevolent ruler person. <laughs> no need to be so formal. This is Bermuda, your guy brush Threepwood, aren't you? Oh. I'm Odina the Ninth. I know your wife. Oh, Elaine? Elaine? You sound uncertain. How many <laughs> wives have you got? Just the one I'm aware of. What brings you north of the 19th parallel, guy brush? I need your help to recover the secret of Monkey Island. There are these five golden keys. I'm vaguely aware of them. <laughs> you can obviously see the one on my crown. Mm -hmm. The crown of keys is a ceremonial artifact worn by the reigning queen of Bermuda. It was originally fashioned from the house keys of the citizens as a gesture of trust. And or submission? <laughs> my predecessor as queen is the one who added the golden key. I think it gives a certain pizzazz. Uh, perhaps I'd be able to uh, safeguard that valuable item. Perhaps I would be able to help safeguard that valuable item. I think it's perfectly safe with me. And with the armed guard standing at the foot of the stairs blocking your exit. You may touch the crown if and when you become queen, and not before. Become oh. queen? Interesting. Do I need to become queen? Queen? <laughs> Hypothetically, how exactly would a person become queen of Bermuda? You have to earn it, win it, wrest it from the iron grip of the previous queen. Most people can't manage that, of course. But by the traditions of Bermuda, all are welcome to try. To become queen, you must show your qualifications by defeating the current queen in three contests. The contests test your heartiness, your seriousness, mm. and your intelligence. I have some of those things. Uh, it's just like becoming a pirate. Three trials. It's just like becoming a pirate. It's nothing like becoming a pirate. Well, except for the three trials part. Contests. <laughs> They're contests. <laughs> uh, oh. I challenge you to the contest of hardiness. I challenge you to the contest of hardiness. Come with me. Uh -oh. We've got to go downtown. <laughs> Let's see how this is going to go. See that triangle? There are three of them here in the building. One for each contest. When you want to formally issue a challenge, you ring the triangle. Dios mio! Another challenge! Ladies and gentlemen, although your appetite for this nauseating affair never ceases to amaze me, oh. it is my solemn duty to adjudicate this, the contest 
of heartiness. I see there's a certain fish here, so I need to get that fish. That's like a hagfish, I think. As you are all thoroughly oh. aware, the objective is to successfully and permanently Ugh. consume more raw fish than your opponent. Okay. Today's challenge fish is hagfish. Mm. Wait a moment. The bucket of plenty contains no plenty. Mm. There are okay, no I fish here fish. whatsoever. And the contest cannot be held without fish. Everyone go home. Hmm. Oh, I'm inside here now, though. Does anyone here have a fishing lure? I don't see them. Bermuda seems like a friendly place. Awesome. Yeah, I feel you. My <laughs> 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 Okay. Anything in here? Check out the back room. Check out the mezzanine. Admire the painting. Enter the contest of hardiness room. Let's see what's here about the mezzanine. Oh. Ring the triangle. Okay, this must be the challenge of intelligence. Check the bucket. It's an empty bucket. Feel the trap? I can feel all the warmth escaping up the chimney. Study algebra. I mean, I guess this is algebra? I actually have no idea. Hmm. Let's try it. I'm not very smart, so. <laughs> Ooh, a challenge. Welcome, Your Majesty, and Mr. Marley slash Threepwood to the contest of intelligence. In front of each of you is an advanced oh. algebra problem. You are to solve it as completely as you can, and remember to show your work. No peeking, no mm. copying, no swapping papers, and no cheating whatsoever. Oh, I will need... return in 20 seconds to grade your papers. Your time starts now. Uh. I don't have the slightest idea how to solve an algebra problem. I don't uh. have the slightest idea how to solve an algebra I have no idea what that says. No funny business, Buster. Time's up. I'll take your papers. Hmm. Hmm? No surprises here. Queen Odina has delivered a clear and correct <laughs> answer with a step-by-step -step mm, I think I need proof. to get the help Mr. from that. Mr. Tweetwood appears to have copied parts of several unrelated equations from the blackboard. <laughs> Queen Odina is the winner. Better luck next time. Okay, so maybe we need the accountant to help us with that part? Let's check out the back room. This must be challenge... What was the other challenge? I don't remember. Let's try it. Let's see what we need for this one. Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, we present for only the 11th time this week, <laughs> the contest of seriousness. Seriousness. Yes. Ooh. 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 Yeah. On this side, the reigning queen, Odina the Ninth of Bermuda. And on this side, the challenger, Mr. Elaine Marley, AKA Guybrush Threepwood, currently <laughs> unemployed and of no fixed address. If you will all come to order, the contest <laughs> will begin. The first contestant to laugh is the loser. Oh. Have you heard the one about the guy who put an ice cube on a scurvy dog? He said it was chilly. Is that the, that the best you've got? Tell her a joke. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, what do you call a parrot with one leg? What do you call a parrot with one leg? Heard it. You might as well give up. I have heard every joke there is in this world. Contestants, the time limit has been reached. Oh. As neither of you has laughed, the contest is a draw. Hmm. See ya. Okay. Huh. I wonder what we have to do for that one. I know there was a joke book. There's a guy who has a joke book on LeChuck's ship. Maybe we need to get that? 
All right. Um, okay. Well, let's see if we need to, if we can talk to the accountant Hold again. It. Are you sure you weren't followed? We're safe. No one is ever a hundred percent safe. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have any business records pertaining to one Stan Stanman, would you? You wouldn't happen to have any business records pertaining to one Stan S. Stanman, would you? What? Who told you that? I can't confirm that. I will neither confirm nor deny possession of any incriminating... Uh, I mean, I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> Stan is serving a lengthy no sentence. Sir. There's no need for any more evidence against him. Simply no need. Uh... So you confirm that you deny possessions of Stan's records? So you confirm that you deny possession of Stan's records. What? Yes. I mean, no. I confirm nothing. What difference does it make? Stan is already serving a lengthy sentence. There's no need for any more evidence against him. Okay. I'm well, going to explore the island a little bit. I need Holler to show if you find him anything interesting. Stan's orders. It's the judicial order for Stan's imprisonment. Yeah, so we need to give him this. Show him this. Is that a sale? Oh, no. Oh, wait. It's a seagull. <laughs> I think you might be interested in this judicial order in the case against Stan S. Stanman. Ah, what's this? Only a month? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Only a month. Yeah, give me those papers. Take these records. Get them to the courthouse on Bermuda. <laughs> They'll know what to do with them. It's very damaging stuff. Stan will get 10 oh, years wow, out of 10 years. I take care of it myself, but I've got to pack for witness protection. Oh, goodness. <laughs> can I help you pack? I can handle it. Oh, I'm going to see. Just <coughs> take that evidence to the court on Bermuda. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's take it. Can I have your picture? Can I have the picture? Not now, I'm packing. All right. So we can take this back to Bermuda and go to uh, the town center. Take us to the judge. Probably. Your Honor, I submit these highly prejudicial and incriminating <laughs> financial documents as Exhibit A in Everyone v. Stan. The evidence is so entered. <laughs> the court requires that net filigree swear an affidavit if said evidence is to be accepted. I can swear like a sailor, if that helps. <laughs> order! Order in the court! Opposing counsel will refrain from vulgar language in this court. Can your honor please cite... Can your honor please cite the statute requiring a sworn affidavit in cases of... Statute 7, section H, subsection G, parenthesis E. I see. And section U, parenthesis E, parenthesis I, I, subsection A, parenthesis B. Okay. And section S, parenthesis T, parenthesis F, subsection U. <laughs> I withdraw the question. <laughs> the last one was STFU. That's funny. I was like, I was wondering what the other ones were. I, I didn't quite catch the joke. Okay. For the court, I can share the... I'm Ned Filigree. For the court, I can state that I'm Ned Filigree. This court can establish via V Customs documents that your name is actually Mr. Elaine Marley, a.k.a. Guybrush Dripwood. <sighs> hmm. Well, Guybrush is more of a jovial it's nickname. A nickname. In light of this new evidence, I hereby sentence Stan to 10 years of hard labor in the ice quarry with no chance of parole. Please retain this legally binding documents for your records. All right, 10 years. All right, now we have to go back and show this to Stan, I guess, and then he'll want to help us break out, I guess. Oh, wait, I could have used the... Oh, hey, wait. Stan. It just takes me right here to Stan. That's, that's convenient. Hey, Stan. Howdy, son. Uh... I think I'll poke around a little. You I mean, enjoy I show yourself, him, son. Uh, show him the 10-year sentence. Uh, I have some disturbing news about your sentence. 10 years? Oh, no. 
I get to a month standing on my head, but not ten years. You gotta get me out of here. Consider it done. Hey, Stan. You gotta get me out of here, son. I can't do ten years. Okay. Um, can I just... Can we just escape? Hey, Stan. You gotta get me out of here, son. I can't do ten years. So I have to... Hmm. Key. Huh. Ooh, prison shackles. Looks like a prisoner escaped. Probably through that tunnel. Hmm. Looks like a prisoner escaped. Probably through that tunnel. Curtain. Art school graduate, huh? Okay, why can't we just escape? Okay, I have to find somehow to get him out of those shackles. Hmm. Well, we've got the lantern, so we can go back to Terror Island. I still have the lit lantern. Yes, I do. Okay, good. Oh, nice. It says, warning, you are about to enter a maze of twisty passages, mostly very similar. Oh, great. Something? Oh. Okay. Hmm. It says, warning, you are about to enter okay, a maze okay, of- Okay, okay, Uh, something. No, I didn't want to go in there. So maybe I need to go with the ones that don't have an X on them? Okay, so those two have Xs, so I'll go on this one. So the ones that don't have X here. Gosh, that oh. actually scared me. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 oh gosh. Oh. Ow. Oh. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Lucky thing you landed on my bed. Herman Toothrot? <laughs> I think so. It's been a while. Herman Toothrot, how you been? How have you been? Meh. Have you been in this cave very long? Well, not in geologic terms. As a percentage of the total number of years of existence of the cave itself, it would be a small number. On a human scale, however, yes! It all depends on your perspective. Hmm, looking for a golden key. I'm looking for a golden key. Sounds like something I might have read in a book once. Are you a fictional character? Oh, no, not no. Not that I'm aware of. Not that I'm aware of. Uh... How does a person get out of this place? Typically, you don't. Are you freaked out by all the weird screaming in the caves? Oh, that's me. Just a little light entertainment and well-being work. Primal <laughs> screaming is very therapeutic. Uh, try it. Ah. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, that feels good. Can I get you anything? Out would be nice. Oh, hey. It's a golden key. No touching! Let's, make a, Let's deal. make a deal for the key. I'm pretty sure I wanted it for a reason, but a decade or so in a dark cave can do funny things to your memory. So, 
get me out of here, and then I'll let you have the key. If you let me have the key, then I'll get you out of the cave. That sounds good. As long as it's escape first, key afterward. Wait. <laughs> How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? <laughs> I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? <laughs> I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? It needs to be key first, then escape. Mm -hmm. It needs to be escape first, then key. Hmm. Me having the key is for the greater good. For the greater good of you, certainly. <laughs> Just give me the key already. Now! Mm. Give me the key! <laughs> to see how you're gonna get us out of here now. Well, I do have this. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Did it work? Well, that wasn't so hard. What happened to Mr. Toothrot? When? Did you get him out of the cave? How'd you do it? That's not part of this story. <laughs> oh, okay. I just left him down there. <laughs> okay, well, I have two keys now. So That's I have a little more. dirty, but still one of the most beautiful keys I've ever seen. So I have more keys. How do I... I need to get Stan. Oh, wait. Oh. Do I, I need to find the serial number that's... um. Serial number that's on his shackles, and then I can take it to the locksmith on Melee Island and get a, a, a key for it. Oh, meanwhile. Freeport! Alive? How is that possible? Someone saw him talking to an old crone on Low Street. I confirmed it myself. Hmm. I'm more concerned about the crone than Freeport. Who is she? Just some old bag of bones. Don't worry about her. I took care of her. Excellent. She did have a key on her. A big, fancy gold one. Do you want it? No, no. We don't need the keys. Oh, wait, so we now Rose have has a, a key? better way. Just put it where Threepwood won't get it. Like where? I don't care. Use your imagination. Yes, Captain. Now. I have another task for you. You'll need to pick up a few things from our ship on the way. Uh-oh. Hmm. Stanarino. I can read the serial number. I'll copy it down. There we go. All right. I'm glad they give us these little shortcuts. All right. Do I want to try going on LeChuck's ship right now? Why not? Let's see if the coast is clear. Uh, hello? Anyone up there patrolling the deck? Ready to kick me into the sea? Sounds like the coast is clear. I hope. Unless it's a trap. You are a disgrace to the pirating <laughs> profession. I'm more focused on the staying alive profession right now, thanks. So far, so good. Okay. So, um, obviously I'm actually Guy Street. Oh, Rush look, 3. he has a lure. Pleased to meet you. Again. 
I assume that's your real skin this time? Yeah. Sorry for tricking you with the other two. Two? Uh, one. Math's not my best subject. <laughs> Either way, don't worry about it. You're LeChuck's rival, not mine. I've got better things to worry about. Also, I enjoyed the book you brought me. Are you finished with the joke book yet? Emotionally, yes. <laughs> it's not that long, and I've read it 16 times already. Can I have the joke book back? Then what am I supposed to read? You said you were finished. You've read it 16 times. It's boring reading it over and over, but it's better than mm. nothing. So where is everybody? Where is everybody? Flambe is up in the crow's nest. Odds are he's sleeping. Iron Rose said she was running an errand. The rest went with LeChuck on that other ship. Would that be Captain Madison's ship? I think that's right. Interesting. Mm. Uh, don't tell LeChuck I was here, okay? Don't worry, I wouldn't want to risk making him that angry. He gets a bit, um, scary. <laughs> Are you sure I can't have the joke book back? Oh, it's boring reading it over and over, but have to it's get him better than nothing. Book. Mm. Hang in there, Bob. Still not funny. <laughs> okay, uh, I need to show him my lure. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. It was gross inside. Soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. I lit the hull on fire with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater. You know what? I think your story would really benefit from some colorful description. Like when I hook a fish. I don't just say I hooked a fish. I say there was a majestic fish, glistening like liquid silver, dashing through the waves, stretching my line out like the truth <laughs> in a schoolboy's mouth. Uh, oh, that does seem a little more gripping. Want to give mouth? it a try? Okay. Okay. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. Inside, it was like Ugh. walking on soft <laughs> cheese with Gross. rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. I lit the hull with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater, blinding as the sun and furious as the sea. Dazzling. Your story, it's good, but it's like a butter knife and a bag of steak knives. You know who you should talk to? The proprietor of Smith's Locks on the Melee High Street. Thanks. Oh, well, I need to go see her anyway. Is there anything else I need to see here? Oh. These open plan offices are uh, all the rage now. A golden key. Kind of irresponsible of Rose to leave this just lying around. Suspiciously easy, but I'm good with that. Yeah. Meanwhile. So the Swabi says, the map or the bucket. <laughs> there are so many other things I could be doing right now. Why is that spell taking so long? Relax. Lila knows what she's doing. My mother always used to say, good pizza takes time. That's idiotic. <laughs> Are you insulting me or me mama? Yes. <laughs> now this seems worthwhile. Uh-oh. Okay. Is there really anything here? Nothing else I can take from the Chuck's room. Alright, let's leave. Anything uh, in the hold? No? Anything in the galley? Oh, I can take the pepper, the demon pepper now. Finally. It's kind of soothing in a weird way. Hmm. Listen to this. It's kind of soothing in a weird way. Old boots and deodorant. Ew. It's like a college dormitory. 
Yes. Alright, I've got some demon pepper. Uh Slime Bay's asleep. And I wouldn't want to wake him up. These things get more sophisticated every year. Okay. And I wouldn't want to wake him up. Nothing to see here. Nothing. <laughs> Can't pet scruffles. I guess that's it, right? Yeah, devil crabs like limbs, apparently. Okay. Um All right, we need to go back to the smith. on High Street. Okay. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Um. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. A shackle key, eh? Special extreme cold hardened version. They don't even make these shackles anymore. I guess you've had them a while? Oh, yeah, they've been in my family for generations. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. Mm. Oh, so she, they said that she was also. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. I lit the hull with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater, blinding as the sun and furious as the sea. Hmm. But then what? A key point of every fish story is a dramatic ending. Did you land the fish? Did it get away? Did someone get one. married or killed or both? People mm -hmm. want to know how things turn out. Oh, that makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay. Okay. All right, all right. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank <laughs> like a landlubber's bait box. So gross. One false move, and you'd be wearing Jonah's overcoat, a layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day old <laughs> pancake batter. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. I think you've got a lock on it. You assemble the pieces very well. I think they'd appreciate your tales across the way at the fish shop. Mm. Well, I need to go to the fish shop anyway. Fish shop. Not the jail. We need to get the hagfish. Hello. Can I trade in my fish for some other ones? Always happy to take a trade in. Today we've got hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater, and lump sucker. What'll it be? Hagfish. I'll put it on your tab. I'm gonna be mad Thanks. if it's like if it switches them out. Um, okay, so I want to, to talk to him. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? And don't be nervous thinking it's a test to see whether you've mastered the art. Even though that's just what mm. it is. <laughs> I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, mm. my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale, a 
real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. One false move, and you'd be wearing Jonah's overcoat, a layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day old pancake batter. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. That was a whopper of a story. <laughs> You've clearly learned all there is to learn. I hereby declare you to be a chum grand master. Congratulations. Wow. Thank you. That's a great honor. achievement. And uh, I know I said there wouldn't be no <laughs> reward for success with the chums, but it's quite an achievement. So we'll be giving you this commemorative oh, trophy. trophy. It says prize chum. <laughs> Aw, thanks, guys. I'm touched. I'm touched. I got a trophy. That's funny. It says prize chum. OK, so I've got four of the keys. We need to get the, another one from from uh, the queen of the island. Oh no, map, the Wally store. Wally? Oh no. What happened here? Wally's shop has been ransacked. Where's Wally? Wally, can you hear me? Are you okay? I guess he's not here. And he's probably not okay. Oh no. I can find here a pile of wreckage. Oh man. Okay. Are you done with the cookbook? I'd like it back. I don't imagine I'll have much use for it now. <laughs> okay, well, I've got a cookbook at least. Uh, okay, we can get Stan out now, I think. Stan Arino! Unlock it already. I can't do it myself because my hands won't stop moving. <laughs> okay. Ah, freedom. Now let's get out of here before they come by to refrost the shackles. Yes, I want to take you to talk to Elaine about the lines. There's a handy tunnel over there where Chisel Pete escaped a few days ago. Oh, right. oh, I'm so nice. glad you could come, Mr. There. Stanman. Always happy to help out a fellow entrepreneur in a non-competing industry. <laughs> we'll start with branding. Lime is the residue in a bathtub. It's thin, it's unappealing. Saying it out loud sounds like whining. We need something with sizzle, with edge, like razor, <laughs> razor bombs, bombs or sour bombs or something. I see what you mean. Guybrush, you were once a young man with adrenaline issues. What do you think? <laughs> Uh, hmm. Sub, uh, saber fruit, death globes, fang berries. Uh, let's go with death globes. Death globes. I like it, I like it. You've got a future, son. <laughs> Your promo flyer has also got to go. Now let me just show you what I'm thinking. We want snake oil, crystal vibrations. The more miraculous and improbable <laughs> it sounds, the better. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with lying. Then we won't put it into words. We'll use a picture. Pictures don't lie, they imply. <laughs> Guybrush, if Death Globes could do anything in the world for you, what would you want it to be? Hmm. Find the secret, Find the secret of Monkey Island? <laughs> Guybrush! That's good, but I'm thinking more along the lines of a superpower. Hmm. Uh, um. Irresistible charm? Irresistible charm? You've already got that. <laughs> Aww. Everybody wants to be charming. That's perfect. Now, lastly, we need a call to action. Get cold, or go dark, or take that. Those don't mean anything. 
don't need to. It's just a short, punchy slogan that sounds like you're supposed to do something right now. <laughs> hmm. Uh. Plunder the main. Plunder the main. Good. That'll have some appeal for the pirating demographic. This is your new flyer. <laughs> new death globes. Plunder the main. Prevents hair loss. Reduce belly fat. May also cure scurvy. Wow. <laughs> Show people this and they'll be begging for your product. Name your price. Firstborn. Anything. Actually, we'll be giving them away. This is a public health initiative. What? Well, now that's just crazy talk. You don't give away the prize bull just because people need bulls, if you follow me. I'm definitely <laughs> sensing some bull here, <laughs> if you follow me. Well, it's about time to close anyway. <laughs> you can mail me my cut. I'm out of here. Don't follow me. Your cut? Now, wait just a minute. <laughs> All right, a drift ship. Let's give them the flyer. Wait, do I not have the flyer? Yeah, okay, here it is. Have a look at this flyer on limes. Uh, asorbic acid deficiency, collagen synthesis, mucous membranes. Hey, that is a oh, bunch of that's science not the new one? nonsense. We won't have any of that around here. It's all a trick to track our plunder. As if you have any plunder. Uh. Have a look at this flyer on limes. You already showed oh. us your lie-filled science tomfoolery. Take your science jibber-jabber and Did leave. Did I just leave it there? Or you catch scurvy. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Don't let the scurvy bite you. I don't have it, do I? That's Elaine's note. Mm. Yeah, I must have just, I must have flip and just left it. Alright, to do this, see that. I've got too many items, Lord. Just left it. Oh, man. Was it just here on in the camp? I just like didn't take it. So I'm a dumbass. Yep. <laughs> uh, I'll just borrow this for a little while. Yeah, okay. Drrr. Okay. I have some exciting scurvy news for you. Read this. Death Globes. A new amazing miracle fruit. Uh, regrows hair, removes belly fat. Oh, oh, also cures scurvy. Fantastic. Have you got any of these miracle death globes? Sure thing. Right here. These little green guys. You're sure there's no <laughs> science in them? Check the flyer. You won't find a whiff of science. <laughs> We're saved! Plunder the main! And welcome aboard! Yeah. Nice. Okay. I'm sure they won't miss one little flag, but I'd also rather not ask. So that's all I need to do is get the... Their ship? I'm sure they won't miss one little flag, but I'd also- Biohazards are my least- The messages are a little mixed, but clearly enthusiastic. Guess that's all I needed, is I needed the- Oh, meanwhile. Oh, wow. I didn't realize how late it was. You found it like this? It was over 200 years <laughs> oh, no. old. It's the only one on the island. An irreplaceable natural resource. What are you supposed to do with it now? Thanks, dude, thanks! 
how many people besides yourself even know the location of this tree? Not many at all. I did tell uh -oh. someone about it just <laughs> recently, but... But what? Who was it? Well, odd coincidence. <laughs> Uh-oh, she's not going to be happy about that. Okay. Uh, I wonder if this guy can help me out with the math problem. Weirdly, this oh, island seems gone. even smaller now that there's no one here. But I can take his picture. Huh. Hmm. But, so I think the next thing that we're going to do is we have to challenge the queen. Um, we have to challenge the queen to the three trials and we've got the fish, the correct fish, so we can use those. But I don't know how to do the other two trials. We have to get the joke book. So I think we've still got quite a bit more to do. Like. I thought I was at the end, near the end, but there's like there was so much more questing and stuff to do. So I think we will have to leave it off for next time. But I do want to thank everyone for joining me tonight, and I will be back on Wednesday. Um, remember, I'm still trying to get to 100 subscribers, or not subscribers, though that would be nice. <laughs> 100 followers by the end of the year so if you know anyone who might be interested in watching the channel or you haven't followed yet i would super appreciate if you just click that follow button and i will see you again on wednesday thanks everyone have a great night